Top three things in my notebook this morning. Number one, two, and three could be Russia, but we'll just keep Russia at number one, oil prices at number two, and the U.S. 10-year Treasury bond yield at number three. So first on Russia, you know, he rocked the world last night. He basically gave you the new peacemaker dividend. So again, if you didn't know, now you know. Now the bull case for European growth reaccelerating has had basically two factors, Putin and Draghi at the same time. Does that sound familiar? No, that wasn't the European bull case for the last six to nine months. But again, it is the bull case this morning. So you want to watch out for the newsiness of it all. Russian stocks, after being down 17% for the year to date, bounced 3 to 4% on that, but remain bearish trend from a hedge eye perspective. And literally every line in Europe across the board, actually on the Eurostock 600, you're above the trend line. On the Eurostock 50, you're above the trend line. You're below it or right on it on the DAX. And the same thing for the CAC. So a lot going on ahead of Draghi tomorrow. Again, what will you do for me lately? Now, the second point would be oil prices. Now, again, if you didn't know that Draghi tells, or I should say Putin, I'm trying to mix them up now. Draghi and Putin, are they the same thing? Big catalysts, big central planners. But again, Mr. Putin gives his boys a look-see yesterday on oil prices. I mean, most people who trade oil were like, what is that? Look at that oil price just getting smacked yesterday. Big time, smacked into the close and then you get the ceasefire. So again, did the guy leak it? Obviously he leaked it. People made a lot of money on that. Unfortunately, I was not one of them. But again, looking at oil, it is bearish from a trend perspective. That's not new at Hedge Eye, but it also signaled immediate term trade oversold yesterday with a lot of newsiness around that. Now, finally on the 10 year bond yield, it was a very bad day for me on the long end of the bond market because it was one of the few days that bonds got absolutely tattooed. Now you'll recall that this happened at the beginning of July, and again, at the beginning of September, you kind of have the same situation, but to even lower highs than the beginning of July highs. So again, what bond yields are doing in the face of everyone saying that they're gonna go up is that they're just making a series of lower highs. As you make a lower high in the bounce, you buy more bonds. Now, if you haven't been long bonds throughout the year, this is gonna be one of the last stops for the train. So again, if you wanna buy them, today's gonna be the time to buy them. 246 on the 10-year bond yield is immediate term trade over bot. That's going to give you an immediate term trade over sold signal in things like the TLT or the EDV, anything that's on the long end of interest rates when you look at them that way, which is obviously how we look at them. So those are your top three things.